I am scared. I am scared. I am scared because I don't know what's going to happen. I sold my home. I sold my home because I have dreams and I have goals and and I'm taking a big leap. I'm taking a big leap and it's scary. But I'm I'm shutting down that fear. And if you're in a space right now and in a place right now where you are making a massive decision and you're scared, then I really hope that this video is going to help you. I want to be transparent. What's happening to me? How am I growing my online business? How am I achieving my dreams and my goal? How are other people looking to me and like, oh my gosh, you're so lucky. No, I'm facing fears. I am facing fears. If you don't know me, I have quit my job. And I have started my online business and I've done so many great things and I am traveling the world, but it's taking action and it's taking steps and I'm helping other people to do that. And every single week I'm making videos just about that, to motivate you, to inspire you, to live the life of your dreams, to stop asking for permission from others and making those decisions. But I'm doing this and by the way, subscribe to my channel. Please, if you haven't done so already, hit that little bell and hit the like and comment below. I love reading your comments, okay? So why am I sharing this? Because I have faced many fears. And if you're in a place right now where you're making a big decision and nobody's supporting you and you're afraid and you're afraid of failing and you're afraid of the unknown and you're afraid of finances, I've, I've been there and, and I'm, I'm there again right now in a sense, right? So I have quit my job a few years ago. I was in a job, I had financial security, everything was going well, but deep down I wasn't fulfilled. I didn't feel I was doing something meaningful with my life. And I wanted to change and I wanted to transform. And I made a huge decision to quit, to start my online business. And of course I planned it all and and, and, and I encourage you to plan. Never, ever take the leap and jump without a parachute. The parachute is the plan. Make a plan. That's what I help my, my clients with. It's like, let's make a clear plan. Stay in your job for a little bit. Plan your transition. Take steps and grow your online business and turn that passion into income and then quit your job. That's exactly what I do with my clients. So that's exactly what I've done. But... I always dream, right? I always have new dreams and new goals. And so here I am in a point of my life where I, I am doing what I love. I'm coaching online. I'm creating all these beautiful roadmaps for my clients, but I still want to travel full time. And I felt stuck in my home. And I felt like this is still keeping me from the full, full, full freedom that I really long for. And so if I want full freedom, I need to get rid of this house. And if I want to fully travel, that's what I want to do, right? So I put my house for sale and I sold it. And now I'm in a place where this is super scary. Like it's like a next big huge step in my life. And it's super scary, but it's the growth you grow through facing those fears. Like growth, having fear means growth. Stepping into the fear and like I'm, I'm imagining shaking hands with fear, that will allow me to grow. And it's the same thing for you. Whenever you make a decision and it's scary, it means that when you face that and you overcome that, it's a huge step. It's a huge growth. So I put my house for sale and I don't know. Like, it's scary because I don't have a place to go. I can't book any travel because of the pandemic. I, I don't even know how it's going to go with the registration because you, you need an address for taxes, for insurances, for my business. You need an address and you can't pick a friend's address. First of all, I don't have family in this country. I can't pick a friend's address because then they would have to pay more taxes because it's as if I'm living there, but I'm not living there. So I have so many things to figure out, which I really don't know yet. But I thought I need to break it down into steps. And the first thing I need to do is sell my house, right? 
how will I have to figure out an address and an insurance and all of that if, if I still haven't sold my house, right? So I'm just, like I always talk about, my big goal is the top of the mountain, like travel full time and, and, and really the top of the mountain. And it's scary, but how can I get there? I can only get there by breaking it down into hills and climbing one hill after the other. So I'm at the bottom and I'm climbing a hill and I quit my job and I start my online business and I, I started growing on YouTube and I did, um, you know, publish books and became a bestseller and I'm coaching clients and I'm getting money. And now the last thing is like selling my house. And, and I don't know. I really don't know. And it's just, it's like, I'm scared and it's fear, but it's exciting. I'm, I'm, I never see fear as something negative because I know from the past, every time I had fear, it meant growth and it meant I achieved something and it gave me more confidence and it gave me more courage. So fear is good. Like if you do nothing and you sit back in your couch all day, every day, fine if you're doing that, fine. If you like to stay in your comfort bubble, but it won't change anything. It won't give you any growth. And so for me, I know like, okay, when I have this feeling, it's not negative, it's positive because it means I'm growing. And so I'm, I'm being fully transparent. Like I'm not a fearful person. People are saying, like, oh, Rachel, you're so lucky and you have it all. No, oh my gosh, no, I have fears, right? But I'm facing them, I'm shaking hands with them. I'm, I'm stepping into it. I'm literally stepping into it. And and I'm hoping that in a few months I'll be you know, greeting you again from a beautiful sunny country. And, and I don't know, I really don't know, but I just want you to know that I'm scared too, but I'm facing it and I'm taking steps. And if you're in that place right now, um, you know, I've, I've, I've taken so many steps before this, so it's gonna work out. If you wanna talk about, you know, creating an escape plan from your job and doing more of what you love or figuring it out and finding your passion and purpose, then let's talk because I'm here to help you. And I'm just being transparent. This is, this is life. This is life. But if there's one thing, I don't want to grow old regretting that I haven't tried, regretting that I haven't done it. And so that's where I am right now. Like I'm doing it. I'm just doing it. Because I don't want to grow old thinking, ah, oh, what if I had done it? I don't know. You know, I regret having the pain of regret is the biggest pain there is. The pain of change is smaller than the pain of regret. So I'd rather change and try than regret. So please comment below. Do you recognize fear? Are you making a big decision? I want to know. I love reading your comments. And please check the description below because I have a free video training to get you unstuck, the first steps to get unstuck. Or if you want to call with me, you can find all that in the comment, in the description. Click on it, let me know, comment below, hit the subscribe button, hit the like, and woo, let's do this together.